see what you need. I like, that. I like to start by saying you are trying to build a church. You are trying to lead people to accomplish something at a time when the culture sees the church as being irrelevant. You are trying to focus people on eternal things when the world is constantly bombarding them with materials. You are trying to lift up the power of holiness when the world is telling us that the Bible is not absolute truth. When the world is trying to tell you that marriage is not only a man and a woman, but a man and a man and a woman and a woman, you are trying to build the church. At a time where people's convictions about the Bible are no longer what it used to be. You, you, you are trying to, 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 to build people and, and to mobilize people who are watching stuff and exposed to them on, that tears down the moral mm -hmm. fire of the church. I'm saying that because if you don't look to God for what you need, if you're moving about and you don't think you have need, be it a pastor or a member, you are operating in pride. And I think one of the most dangerous things is to be in here on Sunday, calling yourself a worshiper, or saying that you are praising God. But really, at the end of the day, God is at a God is opposing you. Why? Because you are not trusting Him for what you're doing. You're, you're not depending on Him to do what only He can. This Bible, this book, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. if you were to read these five chapters, you will find the over and over reoccurring things suffering. Well, it's suffering. It's, it's suffering. Come on, man. Suffer for righteous sake. Uh -huh. Don't suffer as an evil do. Sometimes you go going through manifold trials and temptations. You, you're dealing with stuff. Uh -huh. and, 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 and God mm -hmm. says you're going to need mm -hmm. what only I can give. Yeah. <laughs> None of us as Christians mm -hmm. are going to be immune to suffering mm -hmm. or going through. Right. The first reason is because I have an adversary. Yes, sir. I have an enemy mm -hmm. who is constantly trying to keep me from bringing glory to God. Amen. Amen. If I was in a larger congregation, I would talk to some folks who are saying, but their marriage is in trouble. Amen. If I was in a big enough congregation, I'd be talking to somebody who may have gotten laid off their job, or the bills passed through, or the mother they were, or they got a bitch in or that somebody broke their heart. If I were, I'm going to do something. And when God is trying to bring purpose out of it, when God is using it for something, if I don't rely on God to give me what I need to get through what I'm doing, Your man is supposed to be jacked up. Yeah. Because God is working on you. Your finance is supposed to be messed up because you won't tie. Come on, preach up. Your clothes messed up because you don't understand it. You're supposed to be messed up because we ain't always doing in leadership what we need to do together. And God allows it to get out of tension. He's not impressed when we come in for an hour and do our Position yourself. Position yourself to receive what you need. According to verse uh, 6. What, what is it that I, I need? Verse, 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 verse uh, 5. What, what, what is it that I need? I need grace. I need God on my side. Amen. I need God 
defending me, protecting me, covering me when the enemy is at work in my life. I, I need God on my side when the world don't give me what I think I deserve. I need God on my side when he allowed me to go into some type of temptation or some type of trial that's going to test my faith. I need God. That's all. Yes. That's what grace is. Yes. And God didn't say it was an automatic thing. That's right. It's saved right. by grace. Yes. But I need grace every day of my life. Yes. The God's favor, yes. God working in my situation, yes. God shutting doors.